Well, Christmas has come early. It's Saturday. I've just finished work. Come on to some nice little parcels on my uh, driveway. First one is there's my dynamo. So I'll be able to recharge the battery. I won't have to jump start it every time. So we're going to get that fitted. And the other one, I'll get that back. There is my drawbar, which I'm going to get fitted. And then I'll be able to turn my trailer. I just need like a um, tow ball pen goes through that. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. Where is the question? Right, let's get cracking. This is going the way I like it, nice and easy. Uh, I'm using a 27mm. I can't quite get a socket on, but I'm using a 20mm spanner. Um, uh, you can also use, if you've got one big enough, I haven't got a spanner in this size, is a inch and one sixteenth. Go on, zoom in. There we go. Uh, yeah, inch and one sixteenth will also do. They both fit quite well. And bolts are. Ah, if I can get under there, I've got a slide under there. Oh, it's coming. I've just got to undo the back two now. Come on, under. Get me head under there. So, as you can see, if I've just removed that one and one the other side, just there. So, let's go and do that one and that one now. I don't have to be underneath to do them, so a bit better. Right, let's get them one done. Well, there we go, that's everything off. Came off surprisingly easily, actually. Um, everything, it's the only thing that's ever come off easy on this tractor. Right, just got to clean the bolts up. Most of them, apart from that one, bolt came out. But most of them, the studs came out, so it'll be uh, copper anti seize grease, and then position the uh, drawbar to go on. Right, we're copper anti seized up. This could be the easiest job ever. We've got one stud in, so that makes it easier to uh, line up. I'm just going to chuck him on now. Right. Obviously it's a lot easier to put it on in pieces, rather than try and get it in on one, because it is a rather heavy. I'm going to do him first. So, bonk him in. Like so. Get the nut on and screw. There we go, one drawbar. Nicely fitted. Easy job that, really easy. Alright, let's get this pesky. Uh, let's get this. Pesky little dynamo. Nice simple job. You can't mix these up because they're two different sizes. You just basically have to put the, uh, them on the right way around. What did I just do with socket? Oh, socket's there. Right. Once we're getting loose from the bracket, it'll be fine. There we go. We're out. 
and my bolt drop down there, which is why one of these magnetic things is always handy. There we go. Alright, got to be a bit careful, don't want to damage the pulley. But I'm using a 1 16th. It's not quite going on. Jump him on. Job done. damage to that. Right, now we've got to get him off. Maybe a gentle tap. We'll try. We'll try a little bit of lead bridge first. If I stick a lever bar. Yeah, it's moved a tiny bit. Oh, I've broken the edge of the air. Uh... Well, that's not important because uh... we're not. Oh, move my bike. It's coming. So I'm going to have to the other side as well. There we go. Yeah. Right, that's now a door stop. Right, there's a little bar there. So you can see this. If you see there's a little bar there and that slots over a little bar on the spindle. Use for not damaging that would be like a, a fuel filter strap. I haven't got one. Well, I have, but it's in my lorry. I use it for moving um, the petrol diesel caps of trailers. So I can never get them undone. 
So I shall very carefully bonk him in here, but not too hard. Thus supporting the dining mirror, just to get him tight. Let's do it. Doesn't have to be mega tight. Lovely job. Right, so the cutting on is near enough as that is saying as the taking off. Right in the way. Too tight though, because remember we've got a tight in the fan bell as well. Needs a bit of a pen to get on. There is another one on that one. I don't know why, but there is. Two come off, we'll put two back on again. Again, I'm not doing it uptight just yet. I'll do it uptight in a second. Electrics, two different sizes. The big one goes on the big one, and the little one goes on the little one. Nice and simple there. Just a tiny bit more. Right, so again, what I'm going to do now is use my leverage bar, and this will get it nice and tight. We don't want the fan belt slipping. Oh, get them in there. That's it, it's nice and tight. And we can just whip the others up tight now as well. Away. It wouldn't be a job if you didn't drop a spanner at some point. Same. Should barely use a deep socket for the swan box. It just about reaches. go all nice and tight all right next thing we've got to do on the box I came with some instructions fit the dynamo to the tractor connect the battery at the control box with the small piece of wire monotony collect the A amateur and F dynamo field coil terminals this should be generate a small spark the dynamo will then be polarized so we've got to polarize it right Let's do some polarizing. 
So the control box is just behind the key of bottle, just here, held on with two nuts, so I've just undone the two nuts. If I shine my torch on it, they're right next door to each other. One's brown and one's, well the first one is green and brown and the other one is brown. They're next door to each other, the two nearest to us. Um, the green and brown is F and the brown is A, so we just need to touch them two together, basically. So to connect to it, I'm just going to use a pair of rubber handle pliers with an old bit of pen. That should do the job nicely, shouldn't it? That should connect them. I shall just wedge the damn thing in and create a spark. It's not easy because you can't. In, but I have had the battery on the battery charger starting it. I've got a battery booster. checking it, you have got the uh, voltage gauge on the tractor and that tells you but basically because the battery is really well charged because I've been using that uh, battery booster to start it with the dynamo not working so the battery is in a good state of charge if that's going really high or it's, it's putting in a massive amount then basically it means your, your battery is really low on the charge so you've probably got a battery problem there as well Also, the spring that goes on top with the draft thing, or whatever they call it, the draft spring, that's seized as well. So whilst I've got the top off the uh, hydraulics, that gives me good access to that. So I just thought, well, I might as well do that one, so I've got the access. The next video will be hydraulics and
that draft spring. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.